Hi there, just gonna do a quick video on my dual boot setup on my Lenovo Legion Go. So I'm going to first boot into the BIOS, just so you could see. So press the volume up, press the power button to power it on. There you go. And then it'll boot into the BIOS menu. And from here, you could choose the operating system you wanna boot into. If you go into boot menu, then there is the Windows boot manager. So I could boot into Windows right now if I want. Uh, my Windows setup is very basic. Um, I'm not gonna boot into it just because you could just look at other videos that cover Windows better than I do. But here, I'm just gonna boot straight into Linux. Boot into Steam, um, I'll in enter my pin. I set it to be a dumb pin just so I can show it in the video. And I'm straight into the operating system. And this works very similar to Steam OS. Um, the controller buttons, um, you, a lot of them you get working. You get TDP control with a Decky plugin. But what I think is really interesting about the Linux side is that you can actually get Android, Android running. So here is Android. And you can see that I have an Android um, running, but I, it's also within Steam. So I can actually just pull up like the Steam menus. Let me up the TDP really quick, actually. I think it's a little low. There you go. Um, let's move this up to like 15. This is a full-blown installation of Android. If you go into settings, we can see, if you look in the about, we're Android 11. Yep. But the thing is that in game mode, Android only has single touch. You need to go into the desktop mode for to get multi-touch with your fingers, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool to have Android here. So you could, you know, pull up your, pull up a browser. And you just go to Reddit, whatever it might be. But then at the same time, it's just in your Steam. So you just go here and you can actually pull up a game and play. But then also there's another app called Nested Desktop. And what this does, is lets you run the desktop in game mode. So if we give this a moment, it boots into desktop mode. And this is still within game mode, right? Um, so it's just a separate app. It's just another app. And what's really awesome about this is that you could actually set up a controller profile for the desktop. So on the desktop, you want to pull up, I set it up so if you want to pull up the keyboard, you just press Y and pulls up the keyboard, which is pretty cool. Um, the trackpad works. You could like click with left click, right click is a right trigger. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff. But then on top of that, I want to, I go straight back into a game, a game, and have its own completely separate controller profile, right? So I could be in this game, and everything could have its own separate TDP. So the desktop had its own separate TDP. My game will have a different uh, TDP, um, all while having controller access to um, to each mode. So, so here I am in game, um, but at the same time, if I want to just go to desktop. I go to desktop. I want to go to Android. I've got Android, right? And I could just do things in here as well. Um, it's a pretty pretty interesting way to um, have your device set up. And then on top of that, you just suspend it and let it go to sleep. Give it a moment and then tap it again. Oops, okay. And we're back and the game's still there. Android's still there. The desktop is still there. Um, Um, I would say that this is a pretty interesting way to use your device. And then on top of that, I still have Windows for dual boot. So if I ever need to like update my firmware or my BIOS, I could just hold the power button and the volume up, boot into Windows, update my BIOS and all that stuff. One other thing that's pretty cool here is that I could actually detach the controllers. So let me just detach them really quick right now. So now they're detached. It, it took a moment to reconnect, but um, they're now all detached. At the same time, you can still like bring up Android, still bring up desktop, and because the trackpad works, I can actually control things on the de desktop as well. So if I want um, to move around and do other things, I could totally do that as well. Um, which is a, but at the same time, just go right back to my game, um, go back to Android if I want to, and I could control things here as well. Like if I want to open up the browser again, I could click and I could do things here. Um, But yeah, um, the controls work detached, they work attached, um, which is also a really cool part of the uh, cool part of the setup. Um, so if I hooked this up to a TV, I'd still be able to do everything that I just described, um, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. And then I'm just gonna boot into Windows really quick so you guys could see it. But like I said, if you want content on Windows, a lot of people have already made videos about it. They could show you much better than I can. 
and now we're in Windows, um, where this is Legion Space. So you could just see in the settings, you could see everything here. Um, it's all working. And then if we just leave Legion Space and just exit, we're on our regular Windows desktop. Yeah, so I'd say that this is a pretty interesting way to run the device. Um, I personally am mostly on the Linux side, but anyway, if anyone wants to try with the dual boot, you totally can. Um, this is using Bazite OS with Windows. Um, there is a guide, unofficial guide, on their website. I will probably make a video about how to set it up at some point for anyone that's interested. Anyways, um, that's it for me.